All right, so um, we pretty much finished the board. Um, I'm gonna give the first try. Decided to put protection on. There's, there's a elbow pad in there, knee pads. Not gonna die today. Um, yeah, so let's connect up all the stuff. So first we need to put the batteries in. So the batteries are gonna be oriented like this with a zip tie. With a zip tie holding them in. Okay, get all these wires out so that they're facing forward. Alright. Now Okay, I put the batteries on. Basically you just slid them into the zip ties so that they're holding them in place. Now, um, this is kind of messy here, but basically the two ESCs are connected to this um, XT, XT60 plug. Um, so this is the, this is the UBEC, which is the thing that powers the, e, the, the receiver, which is this thing. So we need, we um, soldered that in last time. We're gonna connect this to the two batteries so that we get power. All right, so now that I got these two in, the UBEC can be powered up now, but I won't power that up right now. Um, the two ESCs are soldered together into one XT60, which can be easily plugged into this. So let me just plug that in. And I'll start beeping. All I need to do is turn on the UBEC have the receiver and turn this on. Should be paired ready. Yep. Definitely paired. All right. I'm gonna put on the final protection, which is the helmet, and let's see if this board works. Mm -hmm. Ooh. My back is like hurting from how much power it's getting. But at least it works. Okay, that's scary. That is scary. Okay. My back hurts from trying to keep my body in place. That is so fast. This is crazy. This is... Oh, holy... This is insane. Well, if you know it works. I think we need to tweak a bit of the acceleration, but... I probably need to turn down the top speed. Cause right now this is insane, insane. I'm scared. This is creepy. The start is very scary. Cause you don't know how much, how much you gotta put into it before it starts moving like that. Okay, my mask is all fogged up. Alright, so the board is finished now. Um, we taped up a few places to make it look better. Uh, yeah, we're gonna ride it now. So we decided to use this remote instead of the 
smaller version, this one, um, because this one's a lot more sensitive. So for this one, we met a problem of like it not actually reacting to my controls. So I could sometimes like push it up all the way and it wouldn't move at all. But this one is actually, it, 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 it listens a lot better. Yeah, that's why we decided to change this remote instead of this one. But the receiver is the same and everything is the same. So we just had to swap out the remote.